remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel at NDN TV Nigeria. Click on the subscribe button and be the first to get notifications. Interest groups in Bayelsa West Senatorial District have again insisted that it is the turn of a Kirimo local government area to take the senatorial slot in 2023, consistent with a rotational pact between Sagbama and the Kirimo local government areas of Bayelsa State. In two recent developments, the Inter-Party Advisory Council, IPAC, affiliated to various political parties and political stakeholders in the People's Democratic Party, PDP, in Bielsa State, maintained that the zoning arrangement in Bielsa West Senatorial District must be upheld in 2023 to guarantee equity, fairness, and peaceful coexistence of various interest groups in the senatorial district. When in 1999, Nigeria transited to democratic governance, Ekerimo and Sagbama local government areas of Bayosu State adopted a zoning principle to alternate the Sagbama Ekerimo federal constituency seat and that of Bayosu West Senatorial District in regular succession. Although it was an unwritten agreement, the zoning principle was successfully operated until some individuals attempted to jettison the arrangement. Consequently, a meeting of stakeholders was convened in 2015 to reaffirm the existence of zoning in Bayosa West Senatorial District to ensure political harmony and unity between Sagbama and Ekerimo local government areas. Participants at the 2015 meeting had collectively resolved that in line with the zoning principle, the Bayosa West Senatorial seat should be conceded to Sagbama, while the Sagbama Ekerimo Federal Constituency should be reserved for Ekerimo. To avoid political rivalry between both local government areas, it was further agreed that both the senatorial and House of Representatives seats be alternated after every eight years, a decision which immediate past governor of Bayelsa State, Senator Henry Seriaki Dixon, openly endorsed at the time. I want to make this clear. I am myself a proponent of the zoning policy that has come to stay in this senatorial district. We are doing this to preserve the unity and strength of this senatorial district for posterity. So for the younger people, note that this is for you and your future. In line with the reaffirmation of the zoning principle, incumbent Deputy Governor of Bayosa State, Senator Lawrence Euru Jakbo from Sagbama local government area was elected senator representing Bayosa West Senatorial District while Honorable Fred Agbedi from Ekerimo local government area became lawmaker representing Sagbama Ekerimo federal constituency in the House of Representatives in 2015. However, when on the 14th of February 2020, Senator Lawrence Eurujapo was sworn in as Deputy Governor of Bayelsa State, the Bayelsa West Senatorial District became vacant. In a by-election conducted in December 2020, Immediate past Governor Seriaki Dixon from Sagbama won the Bayoso West Senatorial seat in line with the 2015 reaffirmation of zoning principle in the Senatorial District. Incumbent Senator Seriaki Dixon is expected to serve for a period of four years, after which both seats in the National Assembly will be alternated for another period of eight years between Sagbama and Ekeremo. It however appears that Senator Seriaki Dixon plans to return to the Senate in violation of the zoning principle in his senatorial district. Deeply worried by the development, some PDP stalwarts in Bayosa West Senatorial District, led by Chief Agbede Martins, took a written petition to the party office in Yenegua. These two seats are the Senate seat and the House of Representatives seat. When one local government area has served out two terms in any of these seats, we swap them. The other one will now take the seat of the latter and for another two terms. We have been doing this and uh, if we see little signs that are not palatable, we decided to come and advise and inform the party accordingly. The petition was received by PDP Secretary in Bayosa State, Geise Iso, who sued for calm in the interest of the party. We appreciate you. Politics is all about negotiation. Politics is all about consultation. Politics is all about discussions. And when you discuss, you agree on issues. This part you've taken is the right part. 
in a related development, the Inter-Party Advisory Committee, comprising members of various political parties in Bielsa State, has thrown its full weight behind the time-honored zoning principle in Bielsa West Senatorial District. At a recent press conference in Yenegua, Chairman of Action Democratic Party in Bielsa State, Edwin Tare, said it was morally wrong for Senator Seriaki Dixon, who is a beneficiary of the zoning principle in Bielsa West Senatorial District, to suddenly jettison an arrangement that has promoted equal political participation and fairness in the politics of Bielsa State. The present serving senator actually begged for it, that look, let us complete our own time because he favored them at that particular time he was coming as a senator. So he begged for it and it's all everywhere, it's recorded, media people recorded it. So it's now a Kremon's turn. So I expected that the Sabama people also bear that agreement and respect their words to allow a Kremon man to become the next senator. Indications are rife that the mounting tension over a zoning pact that is about to go awry is an early warning sign of imminent political crisis in Bielsa West Senatorial District. The onus is on political leaders in the senatorial district to swing into action and avert likely unpalatable consequences of the prevailing tension. At the center of it all is Senator Henry Seriaki Dixon, a former governor of Bielsa State who has the moral obligation to save his senatorial district from a dangerous slide towards a precipice in the build-up to the 2023 general elections in Bielsa State. Inside the Niger Delta, 